Hi, I'm James Wan, and I'm the director of Conjuring 2. So this particular scene that we're looking at, it's uh, one of two interviews with the different characters basically interviews Janet Hodgson, the little girl that is supposedly um, haunted and possessed by the entity that, uh, that lives in this house. And, uh, and so, you know, we start the scene off, we see the little girl, she drinks the water, she holds the water in her mouth, and the whole idea behind this is the character that Patrick Wilson plays, Ed Warren, is trying to um, determine whether or not this little girl is doing the voices herself via ventriloquism, or, uh, or if she's actually possessed. Am I talking to the spirit that's oppressing this family? What I wanted to do visually is, you know, or, you know, with her out of focus in the background, you start to kind of question and you start to ask yourself, is that still the little girl in the yes. background, or has she I now transformed um, into, uh, you know, into you know the character that that she's supposed to be possessed by? Um, I just thought that this, you know, would be an interesting way to shoot the sequence and and to not do it in the traditional way, and uh, and just let it play out in one shot. Hey. And I just think it's a good break, you know, from all the sort of, you know, quicker, faster paced editing of the whole movie to, uh, to show this sequence being depicted like this. Yeah, just like everybody else. <laughs> Come on, Bill, you're not a psychiatrist and I'm not here to talk about my father. Let's get down to business. What do you say? Hmm? Why don't you just leave these people alone? Um, at the start of the sequence, the little girl said that um, that the entity would not speak through her if everyone is looking at her, and so that's why Patrick is kind of turn away and his back is to her instead. Um, and so the reason why I wanted to make it like that is so that when you get to the uh, you get to the end, and and even though us as the audience kind of partially see what's going on, we're never quite sure for sure if, uh, if if it really took place because all the characters in the room um, don't actually see this happening for real and so what it does is it adds this layer of sort of mystery to it and uh, and that is something that I kind of wanted to plant throughout the whole movie I don't believe in that one of the things um, that the sound design is doing here is uh, I wanted to create that that uh, the feeling that the whole house is alive right now during this interview moment, and and so you know I wanted the house to be almost responding to the questions that Ed is asking. So so you know so it's creaking all over the place. It sounds like we're in the in the bows of a ship, <laughs> you know, and, and it's you know breaking apart and, and you know like the floorboards are you know falling out, you know are ripping out of the floor and and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I just thought it was. Uh, would be uh, would be fun to, uh, to 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 play with something like that. Help! It like go! Help! It let go! So this is where I get to hold back on uh, on my you know on my camera work and and just let the um, soundscape do a lot of the storytelling. And then now we wreck focus to her, and uh, and then we see her reaching over for the glass, uh, for the empty glass cup, and then she brings it to her mouth and she spits it out, therefore proving that uh, that she didn't make the voice herself. <laughs>